Hey guys, hello, hello, it's Darlene with Chocolate Tour. Happy Friday. I'm just having a few internet issues this morning. <laughs> oh my goodness. Had to restart everything so I could actually go live. Um, if you're out there watching, just say hello. I don't see any notifications. No surprise there. Um, we are going to make our little vintage truck. And um, I've made this one before. I did the watermelon and then I've done wild and free. I did a really cute um, truck last year with flowers on it. We're going to use another side of this. I'm, I'm kind of thinking I want to paint this, maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> but we're going to do our cute little vintage truck and we're going to do it Valentine's Eve. I think this is the right one. Is this the right one? Oh, I picked the wrong side. Let me grab the, I have the other one here. Hopefully. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was trying to figure out which way it goes. Um, yeah, so the vintage truck, it has the little Valentines in the back. We're gonna put that there. Um, super cute. I have always loved the vintage truck, but you know what? I can't find my little um, thing that has the saying on it. It's supposed to say loads of love. No idea where that's at. So we're just gonna put Valentine's kisses on here. <laughs> we're gonna wing it guys this is um one of the new transfers this is a size a and it will be just as cute won't it i love the little lips with the little heart and then on the truck we're going to kind of um dress it up a little bit when we're all done we'll put a few hearts here and there we'll use our this is our january club couture transfer we'll use the little hearts on that to kind of put here and there on the truck once we once we have it all done, we'll do all our different colors. <laughs> We're gonna make it really bright and festive and look like Valentine's Day. So anyways, if you're out there, just say hello. If you're coming back and watching the replay, just put hashtag replay. Um, yeah, I'm having one of those days. <laughs> my, my internet did not wanna work this morning. That's okay. So I restarted my devices and I think I'm okay. I think I'm live. So, um, let me just, and my camera is like all cockeyed for, for me. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. Let me just pop you up to myself for a second here. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Hi guys. Hello. I'm Darlene Brown. I'm an independent designer with Chalk and Tour. And we're going to do this fun Valentine's project. The, the vintage truck has always been one of my favorites. We'll have to do this on a shirt, maybe on this shirt. That would be cute on this shirt. I don't have, I don't have um, really a lot of Valentine's colors, but burgundy is a great color. I think I could do the truck in pinks and and silver and white, um, and it would show up just fine on this. Maybe I'll maybe I'll jazz up this shirt next week. But anyways, how are you guys? Happy Friday! We made it. We made it to Friday. I didn't know if I would. <laughs> Let me put you down the project to say hello if you're watching. If you are out there, let me, I'm just trying to put myself up in the corner. Yeah, sometimes it takes me a couple tries. There we go. Let me see who's here. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. Hi, Tina. Thanks for sprinkling. Hi, Rebecca. Hello, Sarah. Happy New Year's. I know. I should have done a New Year's truck, but you know what? Darlene didn't think of that. Maybe tomorrow we'll do a, a New Year's project on New Year's Day. <laughs> So I could have done a Happy New Year's one. Um, honestly, yesterday was just a really trying day, and uh, I made it through it. And we are just we we're just hanging in there, you know, getting things done, getting orders out. <laughs> it's the end of the week. I want to be caught up. So today I don't have to do any bookkeeping. I get to just focus on orders, 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 and get them all out so they can travel on the weekend, and you'll have your stuff on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, hi, Lori. Hi, Angela. Happy New Year's, Tina. Hi, Amy. Hey, Talisa. Good morning. Thanks for sprinkling, Amy. Hi, Jill. Looks like, oh, you have you have sunshine until 1 p.m. And then you have, um, is that football? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, hi, Patty. Happy New Year's. Hi, Linda. Hello, Donna Bragg. Hi, Tony. Hello, Karen Ross. Hi, Darlene. You have a great name. <laughs> Happy New Year's. Hi, Debbie. Um, so if you don't mind sprinkling, sprinkling is 
S-H-A-R-E. I would love that. We want to get this out there to so many more people. We want to share. We want to share the Chalky Tour love. Anyways, okay, so that's what we're going to do on the block. These are Chalky Tour surfaces. They are available. Um, this will sit right up on here. This, this block is made to be chalked on all sides. So we still have, what do we have? Oh, we didn't do the Christmas one on there. But you know what? I have other blocks. I'll do that next year. So this this is going to be a little Valentine's truck. And then maybe we will do um, a summer truck. Oh, I know. We can do a, we'll just make up something. We'll do a St. Patrick's Day one on the other side. We'll, we'll make up something. Um, so anyways, let's get started, guys. This truck has two parts to it. We'll do this part last. Um, it has two parts to it and this part has two parts to it. So this is for the back of the truck. These are the cute little hearts. And they just kind of, it says C1 and C2. So it tells you what order to do them in. Makes it really easy. This says B1 and B2. So that's the order to do this in. We're gonna go ahead and peel this off. I've used this several times already. So um, it is stained, yeah. Staining doesn't does not hurt your transfer. I'm going to just put it right down onto my truck. I did not fuzz that. Um, oh, you know what? I don't have brown out. I need to get brown for the for the wood piece. I'm just lining it up the best that I can. And I didn't fuzz it because I want it to stick really tightly. And I've used it several times. <laughs> so I've used it with ink. I've used it with chalk paste. Um, this is still available. This is in our catalog. You can get this directly from the catalog or I have some. Thank you for sprinkling. <laughs> hey Brenda, how are you? Let me find, um, let me find brown. And I'm just cutting some squeegees in half because honestly yesterday was too busy. I didn't get all of my stuff, um, <laughs> all of my squeegees washed. I got the ones from yesterday washed, but I have some from a few days ago. So you know what? Sometimes you just have to do it. Sometimes you just have to cut these little puppies in half. You might just have a few um, few squeegees and you need more small ones. Okay, so I don't want to open more multi-tools. I'm just going to cut my little squeegee in half. So now you have a squee and a squee. <laughs> anyway, so that, that's an easy way to just have more. Okay, let's do, let's do this part first. So what I'm going to do... So I get a really nice line right there. I'm going to just tape that off. You can use our tape. We're just going to do this. How about we do this and we'll do, um, we could do the tires at the same time. So I could just do black here and then the rest of this. Okay, I haven't really decided. Um, help me decide which color to do the main part of the truck. I am thinking that this top part should be, I'm thinking these two colors <laughs> to just have something really bright. Don't you think? Don't you think that it should be, the, the top part should be light pink and the bottom part should be our um, raspberry or sorbet? I'm kind of thinking that. So, so yeah, so the bottom part is the second part. I'm kind of thinking I want to do that. What do you think? Those two colors? Just to have it be really Valentine'sy. Valentine'sy is that a word? <laughs> so, oh my goodness, can't believe tomorrow is um, the new year, 2022. Are you guys doing anything tonight? Anyone go anywhere? Doing something fun? Having family over? What are your New Year's plans? Mine are well. We are, my neighbor up the street is having a little get together in their house, in their garage, having karaoke. <laughs> so I know hubby will go. I'm kind of, we're kind of just not leaving Molly at all. Um, Molly is still just, you know, not doing well. And okay, so I'm just gonna peel this up. We're gonna chalk and peel, chalk and peel. There's our little um, board in the back. Okay, got that. And um, you could even dry it if you wanna dry it so that it stays. You can just take your your heat gun on on low. And on the, there's no no heat, and just kind of dry that. Oh, let me um, 
Let me look at this again. Okay, so Talisa, could we say prayers for your sister while she's in a coma on life support? Has a pick line in due to her sugar. Doctors say it doesn't look good. Oh, gosh. That she could have brain damage. I'm so sorry, Talisa. Yes, we will certainly pray for her. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. And Pe Peggy says the truck is next purchase. Um, gosh, no. Um, I am so sorry, Talisa. That is just heartbreaking. I, I do know somebody that happened to before. <sighs> yeah, it's really sad. It was actually my um my sister's grandson had um issues with his blood sugar and that happened yeah it's not it's not a good thing not a good thing at all i'm sorry that is not the way that you want to end this year do i want to do the the tires first or the truck part because all all this you know what um i'm going to do all of the truck the light pink um even the bumper part i'm not going to worry about doing it a different color but the tires, I should, you know, I should wait and I'll do the tires last because I like to work from top to bottom. So I'm going to do, um, Peony is going to be this color. <laughs> it's going to be all of this, all of this. So hopefully I can work this. Um, I was going to take my tape and just tape this off so that I don't get onto the brown now. Yeah. Oh gosh. That is, that is not, that's not good. I'm so sorry to Lisa. Sorry to hear that happened. Oops. I kind of think there's an air bubble there. It will be fine. It's an antique vintage truck. So if it looks vintagey, that will be fine. We're going to be okay with it. We are not going to cry over things like chalk paste and crafting. We are just going to do our best and be happy with it. Aww. Gosh, you know, it's been such a hard year. It really has. I I don't think I've cried as many tears. Well, there's a couple reasons why I haven't. I've cried more this year. <laughs> One of them is that I've actually had true feelings because I have been off of my um, anxiety slash um, depression medication. And it wasn't for depression. I took it for anxiety, but a side effect was that it helped depression. And I've been off of that because COVID took it away from me because they couldn't source the material. And then I just never went and got on anything else. So I haven't had the anxiety, but what I've done is I have actually had the real feelings, the real raw feelings that all the rest of y'all have been having. I don't, nothing is blocked. So I actually, when I'm supposed to be sad, I actually feel sad. Whereas for the last, um, 20 plus years I didn't have those feelings so it's been it's been a different year for me okay I'm squeegeeing off all that excess I want to pull this we're gonna have our little pink truck and I do have a, like a little air bubble there but not gonna worry not gonna sweat we are not gonna worry about things like that that is the last of our worries yeah it'll be okay because I'll be doing the other color on top of it so I'm just going to peel this up and then lay it back down so I can do my tires. I think the bottom of that actually is that way. I don't think that goes through right there. Um, or it's not going through. It's not going through for me. <laughs> okay, so I don't want to take it all the way off. So I'm just kind of peeling it up. And then I'll lay it back down. I might have to peel it sideways and then lay it back down because I can't get this bottom part. Okay, and then I'm gonna lay it back down gently and do the tires. Yeah, maybe I should have done the tires first. You know, it's really hard to know um, because I probably could have done the whole thing because it is the new formula. Okay, I'm gonna take another one of my little squeegees here and do the black tires. Okay, so just be careful not to get it into the pink area. Sometimes if you just kind of push up a little bit, and I'll, I'll check um, messages here in a second. So this is black velvet, and the pink was peony. And then I'm going to do, my accent color is going to be my, my raspberry sorbet. No, yeah, raspberry sorbet. And then I have candy apple red, and I have currant jam. So I have all my pinks and my reds um, so that we can have our cute little valentines truck and I'll set this on my shelf 
with all my other stuff that I bought. All my cute stuff that I got ready. Okay, I'm going to peel that up. Looks good, looks good. Looking good. Looking like a Valentine's truck. <laughs> Looking like my boss's, my boss's car. Oh, do you remember that story about my boss that was colorblind? Yeah, he was a really important guy too. So he was in charge of all the water districts like up in LA County and all those areas, gosh, Ventura, all, all those, all those big areas up there. And he'd go up to Sacramento and do conventions for people that were in charge of their water districts. Well, he did, he did conferences for them and we did the paperwork. We got all the tax information entered. So when you get your tax bill, and it has a little amount on there that tells you how much you owe for the water district. That is what our office did. This was way back when. Way back when. Anyways, he was colorblind. And he didn't know he had a pink Cadillac. <laughs> and Darlene's the one that burst it, burst his bubble and told him he had a pink Cadillac. Okay, going to pull this off. And look at that. We have a pink truck. So, yeah. Um, that I know I told you that story, but some people don't probably haven't heard it. I, one day I said, I really love your car. I love that color. And he goes, really? What color is it? Because I'm colorblind. And everyone in the office is going, no, no. <laughs> and I was like, it's pink. I love that pink. He's like, my car's pink. <laughs> he had no idea that his car was pink. Yeah. Yeah, he got a new car shortly after that. It was funny. He also, here's, here's another funny thing about him. And, um. I won't say, say his name or anything like that. Okay, let me dry it. Isn't it cute? There's just a little bubble that happened there, but this is actually going to cover that. So when, when I dry it, I'll make sure that I dry right here. Can you see where it's kind of thick? Kind of thick. Anyways, um, he had this little pen that, um, remember way back when you could get messages on your pen? It was like a little magic pen. Well, he kept hearing this, this ding, ding, ding. It was the pen telling him that he had a message, but he thought he was going crazy. He couldn't figure out where that sound was coming from. And we had to figure it out for him. It's funny. He was a funny guy. He really was. But that was like probably 30 years ago. <laughs> 30 years ago. So let me look and see. Um, Sarah, Sarah has king crab legs and steak. Yum. Not gonna fight the crowds. I wouldn't fight the crowds either. My husband's gonna make his um, his yummy twice like twice baked potatoes that have bacon and cheese on top. They'll be doing um, a potluck at our neighbor's house. <laughs> so he'll be making those potatoes with sour cream and cheese and bacon bits. So hi April, how are you? Kathy, your neighbors are attending the game in Miami. Not normally a fan, but we'll be cheering them on tonight. How fun! Hi, Myra. I want to make sure that's really dry right there. But you don't want to hold it in one place too long. Um, Bob is still in the hospital. He wants to come home. He's been there 10 weeks. Um, doctors want to put him in long care facility. But he said he wants to come home. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, definitely. I would want to come home too. I'm so sorry, Karen. Um, Bob is Karen's roommate, um, and he doesn't have family. She's his family, and has um, I don't know, like a medical directive or something like that. But you know what? Doctors don't always go by a patient's wishes. It's not completely dry. Let me try it again. Almost. We're almost there. So, and I did get some. I did get some of my pink up here on the wood part. I'm not really going to worry about that. Um, you could. You could just take your stylus or this little pointy end, and you could just paint that if you wanted to. Like at the end when we're all done, I could do that, or I might not. <laughs> okay. So take the bottom of your truck. And now just line it up. There are little registration marks. So if you're putting this onto a sign, 
you can line up your registration marks. But honestly, guys, it's just as easy to just eyeball this and lay it down and just get all your all your, all your air bubbles out. It's kind of hot. I probably shouldn't have put on a hot surface. I tell everybody, don't do that. Hopefully it won't hurt my transfer. Okay, so the inside here, I think I'll do this gray. So we'll have um, gray inside. And then the rest of this is going to be my raspberry sorbet. So let's do let's do the gray part first. And then we'll just peel that up really quickly. Just gonna use another one of my little squeeze. <laughs> That's so funny. My squeegees, my squeeze, when they're when they're little tiny pieces, you can call them a squee. So gosh, Karen, I wish they would they would listen to him. That is really not fair. Um, to not go by what a, what a patient wants. Okay, oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. So if you have, a, if it didn't go all the way, just lay it back down. Okay, so now we're gonna do the rest of this. I'm hoping that's really sealed right there at the edge to get a really nice crisp um, image on there. I'm gonna use my raspberry, sor raspberry sorbet. <laughs> and this is the older chalk paste formula. So I've added a little bit of water to make it nice and creamy. And we're just doing our little Valentine's truck. I love the vintage truck, it's so much fun. And you, it's double-sided, so you can do both sides. And there are four different holidays that come with it. But use your imagination. And you can do anything with it. You can do such a different um, variety of trucks. I could sit there and do trucks all day and come up with different colors, do 4th of July, do fall, do Halloween. We did our Halloween truck and that was a lot of fun. Um, I I love doing these at the craft shows to show people and they, you know what, they'll buy this. Um, even for their first project, <laughs> they will buy this because it looks like it's so much fun. And it is actually pretty easy. You just have to... Um, do it step by step, and if you need to lay back down, you go ahead and do that. And there's our cute little truck. I think what we'll do is, I don't know if I, I want to put a couple little hearts here and there. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to pull this, I'm going to put this onto my backer sheet. Where did I put my backer sheet? There it is. Um, I just lay them on there, and then when I'm all done, I'll wash it. So um, Karen says, Tiff spent yesterday afternoon with you, got tablet uploaded, Went to the store, then got printer set up. Great afternoon. Yay! That is wonderful. That is wonderful. Um, it is nice that you have her there. Not everybody has someone to help them with those things. Some people struggle, struggle, struggle. Um, that is great that you have a helper. I know my one of my friends, she's probably watching. Um, her her Facebook account was hacked and she was she happened to be visiting a grandchild. And she let them help her fix it because it's hard when those things happen. I'm just going to touch this up. Just going to use this. So we're just kind of painting with the end of this. Going to fix this. Then we'll dry it. And I may or may not add other little hearts. Let's kind of look at this and see how it looks. Because you could add little hearts here and there on this. Or you could just leave it the way it is. Because this transfer right here has this little heart we could wash it we could use that heart all over there we could even put a big kiss on the on the thing if we wanted to okay so let's dry this i think that's really cute such a cute little truck and it's really bright and festive okay but let's get it dry before darling sticks her finger in it because <laughs> you know me you know i will so So today is the last day to sign up for the Club Couture Transfer for December, if you want to get that one. If you want to just start with January, you can wait and sign up for January. Okay, I'm going to just let it sit like that while we do the rest of it. You can see as it, as it starts to dry, it changes color. I like that. I really like that. I think it's super cute. Okay, just gonna set that to the side. We'll do our cute little block. Oh, we sh should we do this first? Let's do let's do let's do this first. Okay, let's do our little hearts first because they are two. So this says C1, so we're gonna start with C1. This one has not been used before. So 
Therefore, I'm just gonna fuzz it on my t-shirt because I have my, my fuzzing cloth is buried right there. <laughs> so I'm just sticking it on my shirt, gonna fuzz it a little bit, and then we're gonna do some different colors here. I'm gonna get the hair out of there. Yeah, I'm shedding. <laughs> you don't wanna do that if you have cats or dogs that shed. Okay, just gonna kind of line it up. So, Hubby got home yesterday from uh, visiting family. He was over in Prescott for a couple days. He got home. We're just um, we're just keeping Miss Molly just comfortable. She is still hanging in there with us. We're hoping that she'll make it to Wednesday, but um, you know, honestly, it's not going to surprise me if we have to call someone in this weekend or take her to the to the hospital. Um, she's just not feeling good, you know. So I'm just gonna do a few here and there. Do um, maybe I'll do this peony, and then we'll be switching. We'll be adding other colors. So they make this. You could just do it two colors, or you could um, or you could do it three colors, four colors. We're gonna use all four. So I'm trying to leave some of these open so that I can do other colors. I feel a sneeze coming on. Uh-oh. <laughs> can I hold it back or can I have it be a tiny sneeze? Oh, my goodness. Do you hate that when you're out somewhere and you're like, okay, I got to sneeze. I know I'm going to sneeze. Okay, let's do our um, <laughs> let's do our raspberry sorbet. Yikes. Yeah. Okay, kind of went away. <laughs> it would probably be pretty loud. It probably would be. So... Anyways, all right, so we have our peony and we have our raspberry sorbet. And then the next one, we will do currant jam and our candy apple red on the next one. So just tap, tap, tap. That looks good. I'm going to peel it up slowly. I think I missed right there. So you do have to work quickly um, because these will dry on the transfer. Looks good. Looks good. That is the way it's supposed to look. Okay, <laughs> kind of looks kind of odd. Then we'll put this on here. So this can just go onto my backer sheet. <laughs> so, um, oh, let me see. What what does it say right here? Um, Karen says, his interest said no to long care. <clears throat> Excuse me, they called you this morning, want him to be home on hospice. He's, he's confused, can't talk for himself. You're his guardian. Well, then they need to listen to you. So thank you, Linda. I know, I know, Rebecca. It's so cute, isn't it? Super cute, super duper cute. Okay, I'm going to dry this, and then we'll do our candy apple red and our raspberry sorbet with the next one. So, like I said, I can't find the same. It's supposed to go on the truck. It's supposed to say loads of love. Yeah. But I can't find it. Darling lost it. It is in my drawer somewhere. And I tried to look. I couldn't. <coughs> I have a frog. Sorry. I couldn't open my drawer all the way last night. Um, Molly was laying down here on the ground. I'm just going to put my hand on it to take some of the heat out. Um, she was laying on the ground in front of my door. And I couldn't open my door wide enough to look in all the drawers. And I wasn't going to bother her. So I'm like, well, you know what? We're just going to put... Valentine's kisses and little lips on the block because you know what you can do whatever you want to do so the let me show you how this is here here's our catalog that has the, the truck um we had we did the truck with the tree and it said over the river and through the woods and then welcome autumn it had the pumpkins and here's all here's the other stuff so there's another one that has watermelon um, and then the hearts. So um, the trucks come with four pieces. So there's two trucks, one facing left, one facing right. And then the other little pieces. I'm hoping they have another one. I'm hoping that they come out one with one that has Easter. But you honestly, you could use the little watermelon and make Easter eggs. I'm thinking I probably will do that. Do I have that lined up right? You know, it's, it's off just a little bit, and I'm going to fuzz it. <laughs> I forgot to fuzz it. Um, fuzzed it on my t-shirt. It's off just barely. Okay, there we go. Let's try that. Okay, so we're going to do our red and our raspberry sorbet. 
So just gonna do a few hearts red, a few hearts raspberry sorbet, starting with my my red that is my um, my new formula because it will dry less quickly. <laughs> it will it will dry slower. Yeah, that word it'll dry slower. So just trying to go here and there and leave space. Um, okay, so we'll do the rest of them. Raspberry sorbet. I'm gonna use my little detail tool. Hey, I hadn't used that yet. So um, this is our detail tool. It has a little tiny end on it. It's kind of hard to do a bigger area with it though. It's made for little tiny areas so that you can get up next to something and not have it go into the other part. My hands are like so dirty. There, <laughs> I was, I've been working really hard um, back in our laser room, getting orders processed and you know, the dirt sometimes just gets ground in kind of like mechanics hands. <laughs> so I need to soak my hands. I need to do dishes the old fashioned way. That always got your hands clean, right? Doing dishes, getting, um, using the dishwa dishwashing detergent. Instead of throwing them in the dishwasher, I, that always would clean your hands and get all that stuff off. By the time you were all done, your hands would be just so, so clean. Okay, I'm almost done. Got one little tiny heart and you know what? I'm gonna, I need to scrape that off. Okay gonna peel it up slowly and see what we got make sure we didn't miss anything there's our cute little hearts how cute is that look at that so so cute <laughs> all right so this goes onto my backer sheet so I can wash it and it's going this is going to go in the back of the truck let me just kind of move some of this over and clean up right here so that clean up on aisle three so that I can bring in my block and not have this on the back of it. Okay, so we're gonna dry that. Isn't that cute? You're doing the truck today. Yes, <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank, thank you, Tina. Thank you, Karen. I'm Molly's just hanging in there. She had she had a bad night. Um, we were honestly surprised that she was still alive this morning. So. I gave her, I gave her fluid, subcutaneous fluid yesterday, last night, and she seems to feel better after that. But she, she's not really keeping down food anymore, so it's, it's not really digesting. Okay, look at how cute that is. Those are adorable. I kind of feel like we need some hearts here and there. Let's let's just do that part. Let's do some hearts here and there, and then we'll wash this, and then we'll put this onto the sign. So I think that if I just do, so I just do red. I could just do some red hearts here and there, and I think that would be fine. Um, just to kind of add something to it. I don't think we need a lot. I think just some hearts here, a heart there, just to kind of break up that color. It doesn't have to be a variety of, of hearts. Oops, I've got a little bit onto the lip part there. <laughs> Getting a little crazy there. So um, just kind of adding something to this. Put one down here. Oops, let me try that one again. <laughs> okay. You know what? I think that's good. I Maybe just one um, right there, and then we're going to call it good. Maybe. Maybe, Darlene. <laughs> okay, how's that? I think that looks cute. Super cute. To just kind of give it... Do I need any more hearts? I think I'm okay. <clears throat> I'm kind of looking at it like maybe it just needs one right here. Maybe. I'm looking at the thing. Yeah, it needs one more, like right there. And then I think we're good. I don't think I need to add anything else to it. Okay, so so the truck's done. Maybe I can use this just like that. Um, but I kind of wanted to do the heart a different color and the lips um, a different color. Let me just grab a Clorox wipe and let's, let's wipe that. So this is our new transfer. 
This is a size A. Um, this is one of our brand new ones that just came out. I'm just taking a Clorox wipe, gonna clean that so that we can do whatever we wanna do with it on our cute little block over there. Okay, let me just wipe the back. Let's get this all nice and clean so we can reuse it. These are reusable guys. Remember, they're, um, and they're sticky on the back so they stick to your surface and they are washable, they're reusable. They have that silk screen in there that's going to give you a nice design. I am just going to put it on my hand. I do this at the craft shows when I have a small transfer. I will just put it onto my hand to dry. My hands are so dry, it just pulls the moisture right out of it. So it is ready to go again. It's sticky again. <laughs> okay, so super cute. We're gonna move this up. Let's scooch this stuff up. And we're gonna do our block. Let me dry this right here. So we don't have any oopsies on our block. <laughs> I know, it's so cute. I'm gonna put this onto my, um, I'm gonna put what do it on my, a t-shirt. Okay, so we'll do it on a t-shirt later this week. I will try to find my loads of love transfer or something. I know I have an older one. The older the older transfer had had loads of love and it had like love was like really um, a fancy cursive font. Okay, so we're gonna do Valentine's kisses. Like I said, because I can't find my loads of love, and then we'll put this over here and. I'm kind of just thinking that I'll do kisses in red. Um, I'll do this in my raspberry sorbet. Um, what color? Oh, I should do red lips. You know what? Let me rethink this. <laughs> Help me. Red lips, right? Red lips. Okay, red lips, um, raspberry sorbet, um, peony current jam i want to have all the colors i want all the colors <laughs> so we want all the colors on here i'm just putting it directly down onto my wood i did not wax i did not fuzz i might be in trouble i'm teasing i'm teasing you there are people that say you have to wax before you use it on any of the chocolate core wood um I personally don't. I, I will fuzz my transfer. I'll do that right now. I fuzz my transfer usually. Um, I don't like the feeling of wax. I don't like the smell of wax, even though our wax is not bad at all. I just don't use it. Um, if you like to use it, go ahead. You know, I kind of think it has to be overlapped there, um, or maybe just right at the edge. Let's do that right there. So are those good colors? Volume of the cave, good. It keeps freezing. Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> that silly internet is part of the internet issue. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Does anybody have trouble with the volume going out? Or is it, yeah, it's just freezing now and again. So, hi, Karen. How are you? Welcome. Thanks for joining us. I love this one. It's so much fun. It is just such a cute one. I love all the stuff that they come out with. Okay, I think that's tipped just right. So, let's start, let's start from this end and go over. <laughs> let's just do that. Okay. So I have, I want to do raspberry sorbet for the little tiny heart. And then the lips are going to be my candy apple red. Where do I, I don't have one that's just that. Let's just, oh, I have my, um, I do have my multi-tool there. We're just going to grab a squeegee because Darlene doesn't have enough squeegees to wash. <laughs> we need more. We need more to wash. Okay, so I'm going to peel this up. Look at how cute that is. That is super cute. Okay, just gonna put that onto my little backer sheet right there. Gonna do kisses. I'm kind of feeling like it needs to be down a little bit more. You know what? I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna I'm gonna not second guess myself. This is going to be my yes. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna do this. My current jam. I was trying to remember. <laughs> I was trying to remember what I told you guys. Current jam. Where's my squeegee with current jam? Oh, it's that little one. You know what? I'm going to grab another squeegee too. This will be easier. Okay, so use as many squeegees as you need to. That's why it's always nice to have extra mini ones. Okay, I'm going to peel that off. There's my kisses. Oops, it bled just a tiny bit. It's okay. It's all right. Okay, now I'm going to do Valentine's and I'm going to use my peony. Peony, peony, whatever you want to call it. 
So there we go. Did you know that um, we are going to be having some new transfers? Just a couple of, I think there's two, and a surface that's coming out. It's called the Kickstart program. So it kickstarts January. So it's going to be coming, I think it's on, is it on the 9th? I have to look at my calendar and see. I think it's on January 9th that's coming. Okay, I'm going to peel this up. Valentine, whoops, my end. There's like a little bump in the... There's a bump on the piece of wood. Okay. Nah, come on. <laughs> Sometimes you got to go over it more than once. Yep. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, I don't know what the wood is a little bumpy right there, honestly. Okay, we're just going to call it good. Valentine kisses. And then our little truck's going to go right on there. I'm not going to add other stuff. I think it's okay to have that nice, clean look like that. We're just going to leave it. And so that'll just sit on a shelf. How fun was that? It wasn't that hard either. It was really easy to do. Um, you just, just take it one step at a time, guys. That is the key to chalking and not getting stressed out over it is just do it one step at a time. And if you have to peel up several times, that's okay. I got all these squeegees. I got a huge mess down here. <laughs> I need to have another area of just where my squeegees go, like a little table next to me, don't I? Let me clean this up. <laughs> super cute, super fun. Um, fun thing to do on New Year's Eve day, right? New Year's Eve day. Okay, and this just cleans up with a Clorox wipe or a wet paper towel. Our product is water soluble so you can just wipe it right off and you don't have a mess anymore yeah and like if it's on your hands yeah it'll just come right off soap and water nice and clean easy peasy guys <laughs> that was lots of fun that was lots of fun hi but hi billy how are you hear a heart there heart everywhere a heart heart <laughs> karen i know i know try the white hearts oh i could have done white hearts huh but I don't have white out, but that's okay. That will work just fine, just like that. Super cute, I'm really happy with that. I'm gonna dry it because even though I'm coming to an end here, we could have a problem. So guys, if you're looking at this and you're thinking, this like, looks like it would be so much fun, guess what? We're gonna have lots of really fun stuff in the new year. So if you are interested in becoming a designer, watch for something exciting on January 1st. So watch for it. I'm gonna be doing something in my VIP group starting January 1st. I'll be doing something in there for um, people that sign up. I had one person that recently signed up and I will be doing the same thing for her because she just signed up yesterday, ouch, <laughs> I think yesterday. So um, I will be doing the same thing, but I'm gonna have a little special going on. Um, and just so you know, for if you're a designer and you're thinking, gosh, you know what things can I do for people that sign up? Um, you, let me just um, kind of make that really clear. You cannot give somebody something for signing up. What you can do is this, you can, say sign up as a designer and then once you have a hundred dollars in orders or two hundred dollars in orders whatever you decide it's going to be i will give you this okay so you can do that that's how you can incentivize what i can't say the word that's how you can give a little um gift or whatever to new designers it has to be based on their performance. It can't be based on, hey, sign up and I'll give you this. No, it, it could be based on sign up and then um, get orders or make purchases and then I can give you this. I'm going to have something like that in my VIP group. So watch for that. Watch for that January 1st. I'm going to kickstart that off. <laughs> so if you're interested in becoming a designer, look for that because it's going to be amazing. Amazing offer. <laughs> Special offer. Um, isn't this fun? This is so much fun. I love the vintage truck. It is always 
just a fun project and you know yeah there's stuff on the other side you can use this block this block is a chocolate block it comes with so the chocolate block comes with two pieces so you can chalk the other side this other side is the christmas tree i believe and then um you know one of them is pumpkins and one is watermelon but you can make it be anything you want. Use your imagination. Make it into something else. You you could use transfers and do, we'll do a St. Patrick's Day one. Yeah, we will. <laughs> I know you need to get this. It is so much fun. Hi, Bridget. Hi. Okay, I'm going to, oh. Um, Brenda, I do have this. I do have this transfer. Um, I do. I have the trucks. I have the back part. If you're interested in it, I do have some. I didn't make a, bu a bundle, but I can bring that back. I had a bundle like a few months ago. I could bring back that bundle. <laughs> if you guys are interested in the truck and the um, accessories, it's called, it's called the vintage truck cutout. And then the accessories is this, there's the other two pieces. Well, no, there are two pieces like, you know, little cutouts like that. And then there's the transfer that has the truck and there's a transfer that has all the words and the little things on it. So yes, I do have that. It's out in my trailer. <laughs> I have a lot of transfers. We're going to have a transfer sale coming up next week in my VIP group. So look for that too. Lots of fun things coming in the new year. We're going to kick 2022 off with a bang. Yeah, we are. So let me know if you have questions, guys. Um, I am going to go ahead and get everything else cleaned up, get all my talk piece cleaned up. So have a wonderful day. Have a happy, happy New Year's. Be safe out there. Thank you for your support. I appreciate it. You guys are the best. I am, I'm looking forward to January because you know what? January 31st, that will be my three-year mark of doing a Facebook Live every single day. I can't wait. We're going to do a special group for that. We're going to have a big, huge celebration and give away lots of prizes. <laughs> so look for that special group. It'll be a private one, so that um, private page, so that we can give away stuff that you can't do on a public page. So we'll do that too. Next year is going to be awesome, guys. It is, I promise. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done rambling. I am. I'm done. So um, <laughs> I will see you guys. I'm going to go put this out on my shelf. I already have a Valentine's shelf started, and this is going to look oh so cute on it with all my little gnomies that I got the other day. All right, guys. Love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. I will be live tomorrow in the late afternoon tomorrow, Saturday. So I will be here. Um, yeah, I will at some point. <laughs> See you later. Love you.